Hey folks, it's Mike Murphy. Today's quick tip is in ScreenFlow. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to zoom in and zoom out of an area, the basics of screencasting and something I do all the time in my tutorials. Okay, so here we are inside of ScreenFlow. I am using the latest 7.2 on a Mac, but this is gonna work the same way in older versions as well. So I have this really simple square animation of me, my old dog, and my VW van. Let's say that I wanna zoom into the shirt area here so you can actually read what's on the front of the shirt. The first thing you wanna do is simply drag the playhead around and stop at the point of the video where you wanna to start to zoom in. We'll just pick this place right here. Next thing, select the correct layer that you wanna zoom into. I'm gonna select this middle layer because that's the main video layer. And you can always tell if you have a layer selected by the bounding box. You can see if I select this text layer, it's selecting over there, but we don't want that. We wanna zoom into the shirt here. So I'm gonna make sure I have this middle layer selected. Then you're gonna come over here to the properties panel. You wanna choose this first option here, video. Then we're gonna click this button that says plus action. So once we press the plus action button over here, ScreenFlow places this little video action marker right before the playhead. This is where the zooming in is gonna end, okay? So don't touch anything down here in the timeline. We wanna make our changes over here in the video properties. Basically anything you do over here is being recorded into an animation. Since we only wanna scale into the shirt, we're only gonna use the scale property. So we're just gonna drag the slider, get it to exactly what you want, and you can reposition it, because it's basically recording the animation until we're done. So we're gonna zoom it in to where we want the animation to end. I want it to end right there so you can read the shirt, okay? So we're gonna click somewhere outside. Now we have an animation built in within this purple. So it's gonna start the animation right before, and it's gonna end right here. So if I drag the playhead back, you can see here I'm at full size here, the video's going along, it's gonna zoom in. It's gonna stay zoomed in though, we need to zoom back out. Now, you can do the exact same thing by clicking the action again and zooming back out. You can reposition it, but that's too hard. We're gonna undo that, I'm gonna undo it. So basically I'm gonna come up here to actions, add a snapback action, add a video action, and that is gonna reverse the action. So you can see if I drag back out, full size, zoom in, zoom out. Okay, so our animation is doing what we want, it's zooming in and zooming out, but it's too fast. No problem, you can change the duration of the animation by simply selecting one of the video actions, hover your cursor until it turns into a double arrow. If you need more room, if you can't see what you're doing, just simply drag the little magnifying glass to get, make some more room down there. So we're just gonna simply hover your cursor until it turns into the double arrow and drag it to the duration you want. You can see those numbers on the right, that's telling you how long the animation is. The longer you make these, the slower the animation is gonna be. You don't wanna go too slow, so we'll do something like 2.5 seconds, okay? I'll do the same for the video snapback. We'll change that to 2.5 seconds, so now the in and the out are gonna be the exact same, okay? So if I preview this, I'll bring it back here. I'll preview it by hitting the space bar to play the video. It's gonna zoom in, zoom out. What if I wanna pause it just for a second so we can actually read the shirt for a second and then have it zoom out? All we need to do is select the video snapback and make some room in between there. We'll just drag it over there. Now everything that happens in between the end of here and the beginning of this, it's gonna stay paused on that. So if I zoom it back out, you'll watch it'll zoom up till you can read it. It's gonna pause for a second and then it's gonna zoom back out. So we'll zoom up, pause, and zoom back out. That is how you zoom in and zoom out using ScreenFlow. Select the layer, add a video action, drag the scale up, Select somewhere outside the layer, drag the cursor to where you want to scale back out, select the layer again, go up to actions, add snapback action, video, and now you have a zoom in and zoom out. My name is Mike Murphy. Cheers.